Oh my god. Uh, welcome back to the second season of Euphoria. Hi guys. I uh, want to do clothes. All right, cool. Take it again. Hi guys, um, I want to show you some outfits. I haven't really shown you my collection of dresses that I can't wear anywhere because we're in a pancetta. So to start, we have this dress I'm wearing right now. This is from Express. I bought it in like 2017. It's just like a stretchy little jersey, scoop neck in the front, scoop neck in the back. I love a ballet neck, I do. This is a great dress if you are a ballet instructor for very small children, you know? That's like the sort of fantasy that I envision this dress in. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. Guys rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. This is just a simple black bodycon dress. I think this is from Fashion Nova or some such place that cares more about clothes looking a certain way than feeling a certain way. I'm uncomfortable. This is something I might wear going to a party, maybe a bar. I wouldn't wear this to a bar. You don't wear light colors like this to a, first I don't even go to bars. But if I were going to go to a bar, I wouldn't wear something like this because wearing light colors to a bar, it's like, I don't know. When I'm wearing clothing this tight, I can't be funny. This is the girl. This 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 is one of my this is one of my favorite pieces. When I get super rich, I'm gonna hire someone whose entire job it will be to button dresses with keyholes at the top. This is racism because I'm black and it personally inconvenienced me. So this is from Torrid. This is like a very long sort of like svelte little bodycon dress. I like this because I can wear it to my job and it's not a problem. It's a little bit demure, but it's also kind of dangerous. I like it because it's just a cylinder. Aerodynamic, like, yeah. Like if I fell out of a plane wearing this and I just sort of went like that, I could cause some serious damage to some farmland when I land. This one is giving very much Oracle Adelphi. This is a dress I bought from Target for my stepsister's wedding. Summer of 2019. Time is such an illusion. I was gonna say last summer. There was no last summer. It's easy to dance in. It's comfortable. Comfortable. You can sit in it and it doesn't feel like you're suffocating your boochie. Giving very much like Colby Calais in 2008 if she was a little bit goth, you know what I mean? It's great. It's great. The bandeau is really tight, alright? The bandeau is a very tight bandeau. I realized that I'm taking a big gamble making this video because I've sort of perpeted myself as this style expert with the window shopping videos. I dress like sh it, you guys. I'm just mean. I do kind of have an obsession with the perceived importance people who watch the window shopping videos think I ascribe to my own opinions. Like someone was like, oh no, I like sweet wine in that color of purple you don't like. We wouldn't be friends. Do you think I have the exact same petty opinions as all of my friends? I like being friends with people who are wrong. So it doesn't matter. Oh, my stomach just made a noise it shouldn't have made. Okay, well, talk your shit, queen. I have to find a happy medium between being quick and being careful because if I tear any of these dresses, I will sue myself. This dress is for when I want to just bask in my Corinne Bailey Ray in 2006 fantasy. This is also from Target. I think I got it in like the summer of 2018 or 17. You know, when summer existed. But this is like blue. She's got a little pattern. She's a little bit of like a floral minute. This is a dress to get proposed to in a rose garden. Shakira, Shakira. There was a brief period of time that I flirted with the idea of cutting the straps in the back here and tying it like a halter dress and just having it be that. And I'm really glad I didn't do that because I sort of get caught up in these delusions of grandeur about possible alterations to my clothing, but I don't know how to do anything with clothes other than cut stuff up. And that's pretty much it. I have like an absurd amount of sundresses for someone who lives in a state that is winter for like three quarters of the year. This is one of my favorite dresses I own. This is from Torrid. I bought it in 2017. And this has the special distinction of being like the only dress I currently own that I liked how I looked in before I got a reduction. Here's me looking amazing in this dress prior to my reduction. And here's me looking amazing in this dress now. I have to force myself to not wear this dress like on the d -d -d daily in the summer, you know what I mean? It's casual, but like if I needed to, I could do like a cute little updo, maybe have like a little shawl. <laughs> I know, Cabernet Sauvignon. You know what I mean? I have a lot of these little just sort of like, you know, <laughs> kind of dresses. It's how I make up for how abrasive my personality is by dressing like a little flower fairy. See, this is exactly the kind of thing that my assistant would do. Oh, we got the beat now. I don't need an assistant. This is probably the most adorable thing that I own. This is from Target. I got it this summer. I wore it on a date and the earrings that I wore it with 
perfection. I'm a genius and you'll see what I mean. Right? Little cherry earrings? Are you kidding me? And to think I used to think that I was ugly and unlovable when I was in middle school. I brought a bed sheet to a park that I lived near and I spread out the sheet and I was sitting on it with my mask on, with this dress on with these earrings. I had my hair slicked back in a low bun at the back of my head. I had my little hand fan next to me. And do you know what I was doing? Let me tell you what I was doing on this date. Girl, not a book. Ready? So I'm like this, right? I'm like this. Stop. Are you Kira Knightley literally wishes. Perfect. Efficient. I got a comment from a youth on TikTok today saying that I'm the only funny millennial, which weirdly enough did not make me feel good about myself. I feel like millennials were getting made fun of for being like, useless young people like a year ago. And then all of a sudden, all of Gen Z came of age at the same time. And now I'm geriatric. This is the peach dress from Torrid. I can't remember if this was in the first or second Torrid window shopping video, but I fell in love with this dress. I'm in a meadow. I'm in a field. I'm frolicking, I'm prancing, I'm cavorting even. If we have time. Oh, is that a little peach ear? Actually, I don't want to get too close to the camera because my skin is breaking out hardcore because of retinol right now. That's kind of why we're doing this whole standing six feet away from the camera sort of thing. We're being socially distant and it's not because my skin looks like a piece of Captain Crunch right now. We got the peach earrings with the peach dress. I know you're jealous and it's fine because one day you'll also have a little peach dress with peach earrings or whatever you'd like, whatever equivalent quirky outfit suits your fancy. Oh my god, I'm adorable. I'm so cute! Boy, my hair is square as hell. Pack it up, garnet. What the fuck? This is an absolute masterpiece of a dress. This is from Forever 21. I bought this this summer as a gift for getting an A- minus in my negotiations class. Oh my god. Oh god. Yes. Jesus. Yeah. So I like this dress. Do you come to these catacombs often? I feel like this fit calls for a different earring. I decided to go with the little hand earring with the little charms. Right. Captain Crunch face. You'll just have to imagine. I also tend to like cinch this in the waist because the tiers of fabric on the bottom of the dress tend to pull it down a little bit. And I like it to sit a little bit higher, sort of like up here. You know, I have a belt. I got tired of looking. So we're just gonna have to imagine that too. What a nice neck you've got. It'd be a shame if someone... Snacked on it. Oh, I'm like that tall vampire lady from Resident Evil. Why were my college years and early 20s so dry if you guys have always been this tingled by tall women. The math is not mathing, is what I'm saying. I do feel lied to, and I will be drafting up a class action suit. The long legs of the law. I like to just take walks in this dress and just like cavort around my neighborhood. Actually, one time I was wearing this dress on a walk. You know what happened to me? A little cat came up to me on the sidewalk from someone's house. A fluffy little cat came up and was just like, hey girly, and I was like, I'm gonna cry. I had a lot of eyeliner on that I didn't want to ruin, but just like a little soft, just a little baby. <laughs> she saw me and she was like, yeah. And I, I looked at her and I said, yo. Does this have a hole in it? What the f me? This is a bodycon dress that I like because it hits the floor. I am six feet tall, 5'11 on Tinder, so nothing hits the floor on me. Like, I'm stepping on this. Do you understand how groundbreaking that is? I love my body. Um, <laughs> this is from Target. I think I bought it 2014 or 15, maybe? This is just a great dress to wear when you, like, need to have clothes on and it's summer outside. No slit, nothing. Just another cylinder. I'm having a weird dichotomy right now because this dress is very comfortable, but this bandeau makes me feel like I'm having a second breast reduction. I'm gonna sue my own self for workers' compensation for having to work under these conditions. I'm talking about lawsuits a lot in this video. I gotta watch Legally Blonde or something, get this out of my system. Oh, this is dicey. So this dress is too small for me, but I hate returning packages, so it's still in my house. <laughs> this one is from Hot Topic. I want something graphic to go with these, so I'm wearing some clay earrings from these hollow hills that my roommate bought for me. This dress has pockets, but it's so tight that I wouldn't put anything in these anyway. I do get a little bit of a kick out of having pockets on my dresses, so I can just sort of like... so I can... so I can... you know what I mean? Just like... like... 
Like that, you know what I'm talking about? My stomach looks really cute in this dress. I do like that. Between the tightness of this dress and the unforgivable nature of this bandeau, it's not looking great for me. My respiratory system is down extraordinarily bad right now. We're not even at the next dress yet. This is the like liner of that dress that I'm gonna put on. But like, I feel like this is giving a little bit. I feel like a little bit, you know, like Carrie Bradshaw on this. I can definitely see myself sitting at my laptop wearing this, smoking a cigarette, and wearing one additional other completely extraneous article of clothing. One new voicemail from Big. I was too scared to listen to it. What Miranda said at brunch was still echoing in my head. Can men really be that direct? Did Big want me or just the idea of me? Did I just do something? What is this hit? What the? That looked great. Oh, stop it. Look at the results. Wow. Nature's amazing. Buy a blazer, all right? Or steal a blazer. You got a stepdad? Is he asleep? Steal a blazer. So this is the overlay of this dress. This is also from Hot Topic. It's giving a little bit 90s. It's giving a little bit the craft. Boo. Jealous? Jealous? You don't even exist to me. If anyone's making a remake of the craft, I will be in it. I'll play every role. I will. I, I just need a green screen and the rights to the script. This next one is a dress that like someone my mom's age would probably describe as saucy. It does make me feel like the token black girl at like a college Republican mixer. It's just very, very red. Don't love being on camera in this. Let's move on. Oh, but this one? This one we love being on camera in. I... Oh God, I feel so free. I freed myself from the shackles of the bandeau and now the world is my oyster mushroom. So this is from Torrid, I got it early last summer. Maybe if Natalie Portman did this in Black Swan, she wouldn't have died at the end. Oh, that plant? Deeply fake, deeply artificial. And this one has pockets, which we do appreciate. It's not a deal breaker. It's not a requirement. It's just nice. This is from, I think, Anthropology. I would have got this in like autumn 2018. This I actually did wear to a wedding. And if you think I wasn't cutting a rug in this flouncy little number, then you don't know me and you don't know what I'm about. Do you see that? Pleating. This dress absolutely makes me feel like I'm in a period piece and I'll explain what I mean. If that's your decision, I can't change your mind, but know this. I loved you, and I know somewhere, if you look for it, you'll find that you loved me too. Don't follow me. <sighs> I love it. Oh god, oh my god, oh my god. We had two H&M jersey bodycon dresses that I 100% bought when I was 19 years old. This dress is really comfortable, and I feel really comfortable in it. This fit with like a chunky black leather boot and like an updo with a lot of flyaways is what I looked like every single day for like my last two years of college. What's up? <laughs> my GPA is terrible. Actually, I think I had an okay GPA in college. My college didn't really care about grades. This is useless to me. I'm kidding. Um, this was really expensive. Girl, this is maybe the cutest dress I own. This is a Rococo dress that I got from ASOS in maybe October or November of last year. Look at these little suns. Look at that. I love little celestial print stuff like this. Foreshadowing. It's so soft. It's so easy breezy beautiful. Ooh. I feel very cute in this. I feel like a little ray of sunshine in this dress. I feel like I'm a little sun goddess, a little sunspot. I love it. So this is our final piece. This is another little celestial dress that is also from Hot Topic. I bought this right around Halloween last year and oh, my god. Have I ever loved a dress more? It's conjuring up a spell. Just like mixing up a little potion. I can't even think of things to say. I just want to keep looking at myself. Oh god, shut the f up, me. I got the moon earrings with it, obviously. And I have this choker that I bought from a thrift store in easily 2013. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's get cozy. You guys ready to get cozy? Let's get cozy. I'm trying to get I'm I'm trying to get cozy. I don't know about y'all, but like, I'm trying to get cozy. I'm trying to- Thank you so much for watching this video. But before you leave, I am going to need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be very spacey. Because it's got like a sun and moon, because it's like the sun and the moon, which are in the sky and space. 
And if you would like to interact with me betwixt uploads, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok at Nisi Pisa. I also have a second channel called Extra Nisi Pisa that is linked in the description where I post music and covers. Rarely. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to use code Nisi Pisa for 10% off at checkout at your local dress you ruined by cutting it too short, and now you can only sleep in it store. Bye. You are joking. Okay, hold on. We have an emergency. Oh. Bitch, oh my god.